This is the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and here's the S24 Ultra. At a first glance, they might almost look the same, right? But if you take a closer look, there's something big missing. The S24's display is completely flat, ditching the iconic curves that used to define Samsung's flagship phones. Now, you might be thinking, why does this even matter? And more than that, it might seem like a small change, but this is really an end of an era for Samsung, the same company that once made curved displays the future of smartphones. But how did this happen? Why give up on one of its most defining features? And why are curved screens disappearing across the industry? Well, just a few years ago, curved screens symbolized a premium phone. Sleek, futuristic, and they just straight up looked really cool. But the curves weren't all for show. The phone felt more immersive for one thing, and you also got features like edge notifications and shortcuts. This at the time felt like a leap forward in smartphone design, but fast forward to today and things couldn't be any more different. Curve screens have all but vanished. The S24 has a fully flat screen, and Samsung's not alone in making the switch. Other manufacturers are also abandoning curved screens, so what happened? Why did this once state-of-art technology fall out of favor? To understand why Samsung moved away from curved screens, we have to go back to 2013, the year they introduced their version of what futuristic smartphones should be, complete with curved screen technology. Enter Galaxy Round, the first ever phone with a curved display panel. Now it didn't exactly set the market on fire, but it got people talking. Here was a phone that was quite literally bending the rules, and it gave us a peek as to where the technology would be heading. Fast forward to 2014, and Samsung raised the stakes even more. The Galaxy Note Edge, a phone boasting a single curved edge on the right hand side. People felt this wasn't just a gimmick, this felt like a peek into what the future of smartphones would be like. And how was this technology possible? Flexible OLED displays. Until now, screens were flat and inflexible, and this new technology enabled them to bend and curve without shattering or cracking. It was Samsung's opportunity to stand apart and to present it to the masses. Other displays suddenly appeared boring and literally flat. Curved screens weren't just a visual marvel, they provided an immersive viewing experience, and the tech world just couldn't get enough. It wasn't just some cool feature, it was the future. And this hype grew when Samsung launched the Edge series. By the time the Galaxy S6 Edge came around, the curved screens weren't just an extra thing tacked on, they were pretty much the core of making the phone feel premium. The way the screen flowed over the edges was simply gorgeous and gave these devices an ultra luxurious vibe. Samsung didn't even stop there, they made those curves functional. You could swipe from the side to access shortcuts and notifications without having to unlock the phone. It really seemed like Samsung had found the secret to the next evolution in mobile design. Well, when curved screens became what everyone was talking about, it didn't take much for more brands to join the hype train. Huawei, Xiaomi, OnePlus, and pretty much everyone wanted a piece of that premium futuristic look and feel. A great example of this would be one of my favorite phones, the OnePlus 7 Pro. A beautiful device that really nailed the sleek, curved aesthetic. It genuinely felt like you were holding a slice of the future in your hand. And for a time, curved displays were the must-have feature of flagship Android phones. If your device didn't have the edge-to-edge -edge curve, it almost felt outdated. Samsung led the pack, of course, making sure it drove home that curves weren't just some flashy gimmick, but rather that it was a new norm of what was expected in high-end smartphones. But the thing is, as gorgeous as these screens were, the day-to-day -day experience started to show some real glaring issues. And one of the most annoying things? Accidental touches. If you've ever used a phone with a curved screen, you know exactly what I mean. Simply holding your phone could trigger random taps because the edges were so sensitive. It would autocorrect to nonsense words, apps would turn on by themselves, it would make random phone calls, and you'd swipe through pages you didn't even mean to touch. What was once thought to be sleek and futuristic was becoming a daily hassle. And then there was the glare. Sure, those curves looked absolutely amazing in the ideal light of an ad, but taking the thing into the real world and it's another story altogether. The light would catch the edges at odd angles and it would make reading text or watching videos in bright sunlight nearly impossible. What at first had seemed like a cutting edge feature was now starting to feel like a more impractical headache. And then there was the question of how fragile these screens were. Curved displays weren't fragile, they actually came across asking to be cracked. One little drop, especially if you weren't using a case, and your fancy new curved phone could quickly turn into a shattered mess. And if you needed repairs, good luck. Replacing a screen with a curved surface was far more expensive than a flat replacement. You were stuck with not just a broken phone, but also an empty wallet. And you couldn't just slap any old screen protector on these phones. Curved screens required special, strangely shaped ones that never fit quite right. 
they would often lift at the edges of the phone, leaving it open to harm. I'll also say that the sleek design didn't translate into being usable on a daily basis, and the initial hype began to die down as users went from one annoyance to another. People started shifting their focus to what really mattered, functionality, after the novelty had worn off. Accidental touches, annoying glare, and breakable screens drove home the fact that curved displays, while they were pretty to look at, were just really impractical. By the time the Galaxy S22 rolled out, the curves were so slight that you could hardly tell that they were even there anymore. Samsung had also phased out most of the edge features by this time, which seemed to be a hint that even they knew their decision about curved screens were wrong. And then there was Apple who have always played it safe in the technology world. While Samsung was busy curving their screens, Apple was sticking to flat displays, waiting to see if curved screens really were the future of smartphones. And when the iPhone 12 arrived in 2020, it was more than just a phone. It was a statement, rocking a flat, boxy design. Apple went all in with the benefits of a flat screen. They were more durable, easy to handle, and had more space inside for things such as larger batteries. It was something that really reached consumers who were seeking reliability rather than a flashy design. Soon enough, flat designs began to gain some serious traction as manufacturers began piling on. This wasn't just another trend, but it was a return to practical design. Boxy shapes remained the go-to whenever someone needed reliability, durability, and functionality put together. When the S24 finally came out with a fully flat display, it became clear that curved screens were officially coming to an end. What was once a premium feature for high-end smartphones was now even irrelevant on the S24 Ultra. Meanwhile during this time, Google had also been making their curved screens with the Pixel 6, 7, and 8 Pro, but by this time the trend was already on the way out and it felt like they were chasing a fading fad. And just after three generations, even Google went back to a boxier design on their phone. Samsung's decision to flatten out the S24 really put the nail in the coffin for curved displays on all phones. But one thing is for sure looking ahead, the tech world isn't done with experimenting with display technology. While the era of curved screens may indeed be behind us, foldable phones now take center stage. The same OLED technology that made curved screens a reality is driving foldables like the Galaxy Fold today. A unique mix of portability and expanded screen real estate. Still the big question is, will foldable phones stick? It has its own sets of problems, with many related to those thrown up by curved screens. The first foldables were criticized for their fragile hinges and screen creases, with many questioning whether this tech was ready for the mainstream or if it was just another flashy gimmick. Interestingly, companies outside the US still exist that push the limits with pop-up cameras, under-display sensors, and of course, curved screens. And there's definitely still a demand for that type of design. But as always, the real question remains, are these innovations practical or are they just flashy? Recent trends have proven that customers really just choose function over form at the end of the day, hence the strong comeback of flat screens and high-end phones. The future is clearly about reinvention as far as the smartphone industry goes. The fall of the curved displays doesn't necessarily mean the end of innovation, rather it's proof that the consumer tastes are what set the pace for the market. Now with the arrival of foldables and other emerging technologies, attention has really just turned to designs that have more of a focus on usability and durability. It's also a good reminder that at the end of the day, consumers want a device that make their daily lives easier, seamlessly combining bleeding edge design with real world practicality.